Well, thank you, Jay. I'm excited to be here, and it's always kind of interesting when I hear myself being introduced because it sounds like I'm a celebrity or something, but I just know I'm a normal guy, and so it's it's always surreal to, to hear me introduced like that, so I appreciate that. You know, I'm excited to share with you and with, with all the listeners what we've been doing for the last few years, so if you're all ready, I'm just going to jump straight into it. Now, if you're looking for a great way to make money in real estate, you have made it to the right spot. We've been doing this strategy for the last few years and it's been absolutely life-changing for us. And believe it or not, on this webinar, I'll give you enough content that you can go out and do some of these deals on your own, whether or not you buy my product at the end. How's that for a great deal? And as if that isn't enough already, just for being a part of this webinar, you get a free gift that's worth $1,500. Now, just because it's free doesn't mean that it's some cheap document that I found on the internet. The very first time we used this contract, we made over $100,000 with it. My attorneys created this contract just for us in a particular situation that I'll tell you about at the end of the webinar, but anyone in real estate will use this contract at some point. Now, first, I want to introduce you to my family. Obviously, this is, this is me here. My name is Ryan, and to my right is my beautiful wife, Carly. She is absolutely amazing. Um, the list is too long to tell you all the good things about her, but really, she is just phenomenal. To her right is our oldest son, Preston. He is a great kid. He's smart. He's sweet. He's considerate. He's thoughtful and helpful. Uh, really, he's just an exceptional kid. And then in my lap is my second son, Peyton, and he is a total riot. Um, he's a ball of energy. He is fun. He's exciting. He's not afraid to do anything, and he doesn't listen to people. <laughs> Um, which obviously creates some difficulty for Carly and I when we parent him, but realistically, in the long run, we know that that's probably going to end up suiting him well. This is our baby girl, Presley. She is a sweet little baby. She's still a little too young to know what her personality is going to be like, but she is definitely a happy kid. She will light up from across the room. If you just look at her, she'll smile uncontrollably. Really, she's just a happy, happy little baby. So anyway... I just wanted to introduce you to my family because they are a huge part of my life and you don't know me if you don't know my family. So I wanted to introduce you to them. As I said a moment ago, my name is Ryan Roberts and I didn't have a normal upbringing. Now most kids' earliest memories are riding their bikes, going down the street and having fun with their friends. Well, not me. My earliest memories are of cleaning out fixer-uppers, pulling down wallpaper and mowing lawns that were so overgrown that I would find car tires and entire bicycles in the grass. And for a while, I resented my dad for treating me like I was his free labor. But I also didn't like going to his real estate investment meetings with him at the local title company. That was until one day something happened. I think I was in high school still. I went with him this one time to a meeting and I realized how valuable his real estate experience was. So at this meeting of local real estate investors, a lady spoke up and asked the group's opinion on a deal she was trying to put together. Another person at the meeting offered their advice, but the title officer responded immediately with why that wouldn't work. Someone else suggested something, but again, the title officer squashed the idea immediately, saying that wouldn't work either. Then my dad spoke up and said that he had a way to get it done. So he explained how to do the deal, and more importantly, how to make it acceptable to all parties, including the title company. After the title officer thought for a few moments, he said that my dad was right. Now this happened a few more times over the next 15 minutes or so, to the point that the people were no longer asking the title officer their opinion and were exclusively asking my dad his opinion. Now my dad has never worked for a title company before and he's not an attorney. He just had some old school strategies that only experienced real estate people know from doing real deals out in the street. Even though I resented it for a while while I was growing up, now I have an appreciation for the experience that I was exposed to over the years. Fast forward a few years, and my last year in college, I did my first real estate deal. I made $40,000. To put that into perspective, the most I had ever made an entire year was $14,000 as a waiter at Applebee's. Can you imagine how I felt? I felt like this kid in this picture. It was absolutely awesome. Well, fast forward about 20 more years, and after a whole lot of strategies and techniques and deals under our belts, my dad and I have found a niche that has turned out to be an absolute gold mine for us. In just a little bit, I'm going to share with you exactly what we're doing. 
But first, here's proof of some of the results we've gotten, and then we'll show you how we did it. Now this one here, I'm gonna zoom in on it. Up here, it's, it shows that this is where we bought the property, and it says due to buyer, almost $13,000. Obviously, it's, uh, it's a fun day when you buy a property and still get $13,000 at the closing table. Then here, a couple months later, when we went to sell it, the same property, due to seller, $17,000. So I included this to show you you can make money when you buy it as well as when you sell it. Then this one here, I'll zoom in. This one's $22,000, and I've included it because we never stepped foot on this property. We didn't do anything. We sold it a couple days later for $22,000 profit. Next one here, zoom in, 40, almost $41,000, same thing. Never did anything to the property, just knew what we were doing, sold it within a couple of days and made $41,000. I know people who work all year long for less than $41,000. We did it in a couple of days. This one here I've included. You can see $56,000. The reason I included this one was because we actually got legal possession of this property for a year, rent-free. My parents moved into the master suite on the back side of the property. It was a beautiful house in a beautiful area. And we even moved our office into the garage, which is bigger than my first apartment. <laughs> and we stayed there for a, for a whole year, rent-free. And then when we sold it, we made $56,000. So effectively, they paid us $56,000 to occupy the property for a year. It worked out pretty good. Now this here, I'm sure you can't see it, but this line right here, I'm gonna I'll zoom in on it. it says non-refundable earnest money deposit, $100. I've included that because our standard deal only takes $100 to do. In fact, with this contract that I'm showing you here, we resold it within two weeks. And I'll zoom in on it for $107,411.11. Now, I don't know what kind of return it is to take $100 and within two weeks, turn it into $107,411.11, but it's a pretty good return, I'm sure. In fact, here's copies of the checks that if you take the dollar amounts here and zoom in on it, 69 16 and 11 cents and add to that $100,495 gives you a grand total of $107,411.11. Pretty awesome. Here's another one that we did that we also only put up 100 bucks to do. And I'll zoom in on the area that it says we resold it for $120,000. This one I think took about two weeks. I don't have my notes in front of me, but here, in fact, here's a copy of the check. It shows $110,000. The reason that the check is for $110,000, even though our contract was for $120,000, was because we resold this property before the seller was even out of the house. So the eventual buyer held back $10,000 from our side until the seller was out in case there was any surprises or we had to evict the seller or anything like that. So once the seller was out, we got the balance of the $10,000. Would you like to get a check for $100,000 or more? Sounds good, right? Well, literally anyone can do these deals. I picked these as examples because they took 100 bucks to do and it took an average of 19 days to turn into cash. But what's the catch? Honestly, it takes work. Because of that one simple fact, very few people successfully do it. Well, by training people, I am trying to change that. Now, this is where I have to say, I cannot promise that you will make the same amount of money we have. In fact, I seriously doubt that you'll make as much money as we did. You may not be as good at negotiating and you definitely don't have it down to a science like we do. And not only that, but you can work for months at a time and not get any deals. Or even worse, you can lose money on deals. Just because we have never lost money on a deal doesn't mean that you won't. There are tons of variables that are out of your control. Always, always, always consult with your appropriate advisors and proceed at your own risk. We are not giving you legal advice here. All right, so now that I have completely scared everyone off, let's get into it. Now there's a boatload of ways to make money in real estate and we've tried them all. But when we've started focusing on this strategy exclusively, we have watched our profits absolutely skyrocket. It's been unbelievable. A concept that I'd like to begin with is this. It matters where and how you fish. What do I mean? 
Now, if you take a little kid's fishing pole and go to a little green pond out in the country and throw the line in, you might catch something, but no matter what, it's going to be a waste of time. You aren't fishing in the right spot. Now, if you charter a private fishing boat and head out to the deep sea and have the equipment to pull in some serious fish, then you're going to have a whole different experience. It matters where and how you fish. In just a moment, I will show you the exact system that allowed us to do more six-figure deals than any of the other countless strategies we have worked over the last four decades. Where we are fishing is where you want to fish. But first, let me ask you a few questions. Have you ever wondered why some people get amazing deals that others only dream of? Would you like to get access to those amazing deals too? Would you like to have a system to get property owners calling you begging to give you their property? Well, that's exactly what I have for you right now. And not only that, but by the end of this webinar, I will show you how to potentially get my entire product for free. Is that awesome or what? Now, first, I know I sound like everyone else selling something. We all claim that we have the best, fast, easiest solution to get rich while you do nothing but play golf and sit in a hammock or something, right? Well, I honestly believe that we have found one of the best ways, if not the best way, to make money in real estate right now. And I don't want to insult you by saying it takes no effort. But by the end of this webinar, I think you'll agree that this is a great way to make money in real estate. Again, we are fishing in the right spot. Now, there are many, many reasons that I think we have the best strategy or the best niche to focus on. Here are some of the reasons. These are by far the most profitable deals we've ever done. You can consistently pay 20 to 50% of its current retail value. These deals require as little as 100 bucks to do. In fact, we almost always put up $100 for our deals. Also, the vast, vast majority of these properties you work with are free and clear, giving you tons of equity to work with. We have found there to be way less competition. The property owners will actually thank you for working with them. You don't have to use any of your own money or credit if you don't want to. You don't have to do any rehab on the properties if you don't want to. And you don't have to leave your home to do these deals if you don't want to. If you are new to the real estate world, this is the place to start. And if you're a real estate expert and you already know the ropes, this strategy will just give you an additional highly profitable source of income for your business. Okay, so I see that a bunch of questions are coming in in the, the chat box, but I won't be able to go through the presentation and answer questions. So here's what I'll do. After my presentation's over, I'll go through all the comments and the questions, and then I'll make a list of all the questions and I'll answer them and I'll send them out as an email to everybody. So um, it'll probably take me a day or two to get to it, but... Um, but I will do that. So go ahead and continue to put in your questions and your comments, and then I'll respond back to those over the next couple of days, okay? So for now, though, I'm just going to get back to the presentation, and I don't want you to get offended if I don't answer your questions on here, okay? All right, well, in just a moment, I'm going to share with you exactly where to get these deals. But first, I want to look at some other strategies and then compare them to my strategy. First, let's consider short sales. Now, do people make money in short sales? Absolutely. But how long do they take? The better part of a year? You can be six months into a process before you even get an answer. It's a total joke, the process that they put you through. How about REOs? Are people making money with REOs? Absolutely. But do you just walk into the bank and pick out a property? Is that what happens? I don't think so. And with hedge funds getting involved, I don't think there's very much room for you and me. And even if you get in, it's still a red tape nightmare. How about pre-foreclosures? There are millions of them out there, right? And are people making money with pre-foreclosures? Absolutely. Unfortunately, everyone is still upside down, so it doesn't matter if you're able to find someone who's willing to walk away from their house. It's worth $100,000 and they owe $200,000. Who wants that? What about trustee sales? Well, you have to have all cash. That's a lot of money and a lot of risk. Tell you what, with our strategy, the average deal takes $100 to do. They take an average of three weeks to complete or less. You get title insurance. You virtually have no risk whatsoever. And the profit margins are through the roof. So enough suspense. 
Here is where we're finding the best deals we have ever done in the last 40 years of real estate experience. Tax defaulted properties. Now saying tax defaulted property doesn't give you enough information though. What I mean is that there's a wide variety of tax defaulted properties. You might be tempted to think that the kinds of properties that are going to be auctioned off for the back taxes aren't valuable. Otherwise, the owners would pay their taxes and keep the property. And on the surface, that does make sense. But in actuality, there are tons of valuable properties auctioned off every year for their back taxes. In fact, in the 2013 tax sale in Los Angeles, California, the LA Times had about 10 commercial and industrial properties that were worth a collective $125 million that came up on the auction list. They were going to lose their properties for the back taxes. Now, obviously the properties that come up for sale aren't all valuable. There's a bunch of junk too, and everything in between. Property taxes are the main way that government is able to provide services such as public schools, police and fire protection, and other important services that we all enjoy, right? The government doesn't take that lightly. They will collect taxes. Without those taxes, the government cannot survive. How long have property taxes been around? Forever, and they'll be around forever. This strategy isn't going anywhere anytime soon. It doesn't matter where you live or how taxes are collected. There is an opportunity for you and for me to profit from the fact that the government needs taxes and that sometimes people don't pay those taxes. Now this might be basic for some of you, but I want to make sure that you understand a few things which make this strategy a lot better than other strategies. A big one, in fact, probably the biggest one, is that most of the time these properties don't have any mortgages on them. Why? Because when you buy a property and get a conventional loan, the lender or the bank will usually require that you include your property taxes as part of your payment to them. They, in turn, pay the property taxes to make sure that they get paid to the county or whoever the responsible taxing authority is. Why does the bank care if your property taxes are paid? Well, they aren't just good people who are willing to help you pay your taxes. They are protecting the bank. If your property taxes are not paid and the government takes action against your property and auctions it off, the mortgage or the loan gets eliminated by the sale. Therefore, if there is a loan on the property, the lender will almost always pay the delinquent taxes in order to protect themselves. So most of the time, if there's a conventional loan on the property, the property will not get to the point of being auctioned off. Therefore, the properties that do come up for auction are generally free and clear or have a private loan on the property. I'll give you an example that we've seen many, many times. An elderly couple passes away and leaves their free and clear property to their 50-year-old child. That child who inherits the property never had to make the payments, never had to pay the taxes, never had to maintain the property, and they think that they should be able to live there for free forever. Until one day, they get a rude awakening when the government proves them wrong by auctioning off the house. It happens more often than you'd think. Now, these people aren't surprised by it. They get notices and notices and notices, and they post notices on the front door. They certify mail, everything. It's posted in the newspaper. Everybody knows it's coming, but they just stick their head in the sand and they don't deal with it. Another example that is not uncommon is when a spouse passes away, and the spouse that passed away was the one who did all the bills. Fast forward a little while, and the surviving spouse loses the property for the back taxes. And you know what? Sometimes things just don't go your way. It's not just financially irresponsible people who get in tough spots. Maybe you get laid off for a while. Maybe you run out of money. Maybe you get cancer and you can't work because you don't have any strength and the medical bills are piling up. It's not just irresponsible people who get in tough spots. But for one reason or another, there are many, many owners who lose their property for the back taxes in the United States each year. These are the people we approach. Again, we are fishing in the right spot. Now, when someone is getting ready to lose a free and clear property for the back taxes, we offer them a solution. Our unique offer that we teach to our clients gets received very well. It's presented in such a way that it creates goodwill with the property owner and you aren't seen as the vulture taking advantage of the hardship of others. Really, it works pretty well. Now, there are a few things that you need to know if you're gonna be doing this strategy. And all these things are factors in determining how likely a deal is and how profitable it's going to be. These factors vary from state to state, but here are the big ones. Number one, how far behind does the property owner have to be before the government actually takes action against their property? 
If it's a short time, then it would be easier for the property owner to pay the taxes. If it's a longer time, then it would be more difficult for the property owner to pay off the back taxes. Therefore, the longer the better, in our opinion. Number two, is it the property or just a lien that gets auctioned off? Now, even though we can do this strategy in states that sells liens as well as deeds, it seems like it works a tiny bit better in states where the actual property gets auctioned off. Number three, is there a redemption period for the property owner? If the property owner has time to come back and redeem their property by paying the back taxes even after the property has been auctioned off, that will affect the likelihood of them doing so. Number four, how long is the redemption period for the property owner? On one hand, the longer the better. From a different approach, the shorter the better. Number five, what are property values in that area? Now, obviously, the higher the value, the higher the potential profits. And lastly, what is the population in that area? The higher the population, the more demand for the properties, and typically, the higher the values. Taking into consideration all of the above factors, we teach that there is one state that's the best place to do this strategy. Where is that? California. They have the longest amount of time for a property owner that's delinquent before they lose the property. Five years. So the tax bill is substantially higher than in other states. That basically means that when someone's property comes up for auction, the owner would have to come up with a higher amount in order to stop the sale, making it less likely for them to be able to do it. And they lose the property at the auction, not just a lien against the property. That gives them a higher sense of urgency. California has some of the highest value properties in the country, giving us the most profitable deals. The population in California is also substantially higher than any other state by far. And there is no redemption period. If a property gets auctioned off, it's gone. So California is the best place to do this by far. And check this out. So the property owners have to be five years behind in California, right? So in the sixth year, the government can auction it off. Well, the real estate bubble burst in 07 and 08, right? Add six years to that and you get 2013 and 2014. That means that from 2013 till about 2020, this strategy is going to explode even more than it has in the past. There's going to be a huge wave of free and clear properties crashing right now and will continue for the next seven to 10 years, at least in California. But remember, you can do this from anywhere and it works everywhere. With our system, you can absolutely do California deals from anywhere in the world. And in our training course, we show you how to be successful no matter where you work this strategy or where you live. But for the purposes of this presentation, I'm going to use California as the model. Now, if you don't want to do deals here, still pay attention because the process is going to have a lot of similarities no matter where you go to do this. So here's where I'm going to give you a bunch of information and some websites that you absolutely need. So Put your game of solitaire on pause and don't worry, you haven't offended me if you're playing solitaire, I do it too. <laughs> if you want to do these insanely profitable deals, let me give you some resources that you'll definitely need. I promised at the beginning of this webinar that I would give you enough information in this presentation that you'd be able to go out and do some deals on your own if you wanted to. So here we go. Here are the basic steps to be successful in this strategy. Step number one, monitor upcoming sales. The best place to do this is the state controller's website. Their web address is www.sco.ca.gov. Then click on Public Services, and then click on Public Auction and Bidder Information. Now, even though the state has no connection to the auctions at all, they put up this list of all the upcoming sales that they know of as a courtesy. They do not guarantee that they will have 100% of the sales, but the majority is there. It took us six months to figure that one out, and it's a free site. Isn't that a cool tip? Another website that's crucial is Bid for Assets. This is a private company who handles most, if not all, of the online auctions for the individual counties around the state of California. If you're just looking to buy properties at the online auctions, this is where you need to go. It took us a couple of months to find out about them. Be careful, though. I have to warn you. If you are serious about buying a property at an auction, whether live or online, please do not do so without talking to us first. 
There are serious legal processes that you need to know about, and the county will not help you. In fact, they probably don't even know about them. For instance, it's near impossible to resell the property within one year because you won't be able to get title insurance unless you know what to do. Wouldn't it be helpful to know what to do? Also, in some cases, you can buy a property at an auction, and the government has the right to take the property back from you and does not have to give you any money for some of the repairs you may have done. Therefore, some, if not all, of the money you put into repairs, you could potentially lose. Wouldn't it be good to know when the government has that right? These auctions are different than trustee sales or other auctions. Just because you may have bought a property at other auctions does not mean that you'll be okay in this arena. And I don't want to scare you off from buying properties at an auction. You just need to know what you're doing so that you aren't surprised by something and lose money. Now, one last thing that I don't want you to be surprised by is that if you intend to buy a property at an online auction, especially on bid for assets, you must register in advance of the sale. I think it's usually three to five days in advance and you must send in one to $5,000 depending on the type of property they're selling and which county it is and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, back to the steps. Step number two, get lists from the counties. Now, once you know which counties are coming up by watching the state controller's website, you can go to the county to get their list of properties that are going to be auctioned off. If it's an auction that's online, Sometimes bid for assets will make a PDF download available or sometimes a spreadsheet. They don't give you all the information you'll need, but it's definitely better than nothing. And here's a great resource that we've put together for you. www.taxriches.com forward slash county info. It has all the links to the 58 counties websites, tax collectors pages, tax assessors pages, links to verified tax bills and assessed information, GIS systems, and a whole lot more. Now, this is a resource that we used to make only available to our clients, but we decided to go ahead and make it available for free. You're welcome. <laughs> now, if you're pursuing a county somewhere outside of California, you can also just Google the county name and tax collector. For instance, Orange County Tax Collector. It will almost always be in the top one or two results. But be careful, though, because there are frequently multiple counties with the same name. So using the example of Orange County Tax Collector, there's an Orange County in California, and there's also an Orange County, Florida. Obviously, make sure you're going to the correct one. Now, don't be surprised if the counties aren't helpful. Sometimes it actually seems like they enjoy not being helpful. <laughs> not only does the government have a screw you attitude in general, but it's actually a conflict of interest for them to be helpful. And I'll tell you more about that in just a little bit. But I mentioned earlier that each county has different formats. My vote for the county with the worst format goes to Los Angeles, which up until the 2013 auction, their only option was a 500 page printed book that they shipped to you and you had to research the properties manually. It was absolutely ridiculous. The very first time that we worked the LA sale, I literally worked through the night several nights trying to get them into the computer and searchable and sortable. It took me and two other employees over two weeks to get it done. Quick question, have you ever tried to disassemble a 500 page book, then scan each page into your computer one at a time while your scanner is overheating, then copy and paste data into Excel for 3000 properties? I have. <laughs> I felt like killing someone after I was done, but luckily we did because that was where we got two more $100,000 plus deals. Absolutely awesome. Now, step number three get missing information. Once you've been monitoring the upcoming sales and getting lists from the counties, you have to get whatever information you're missing. Generally, owner's names and mailing addresses are the two biggest things that you'll need to find on your own. You can buy data directly from the county. It'll sometimes be in a different department like the information technology department. Sometimes the assessor's office makes that kind of information available. Some counties have it available on their websites or sometimes the tax collector's office has it too. The prices vary, but my hometown was 120 bucks and San Francisco County was 400 bucks. I just remember those two off the top of my head. Some places charge per property, some places charge per lookup. You'll just have to see. And you can get this type of information from other places, so you may already have something that will retrieve that information for you. If you have a friend at the title company, they may look up a few for you, but not if you're going to do thousands and thousands of properties. You can't ask a title company 
to do that for you. Step number four, research properties. Once you've been monitoring the upcoming sales and getting lists from the counties, and you have gotten whatever information you are missing by whatever means necessary, you need to research the properties to see which ones you want to pursue and which ones are a waste of time. If you're looking for lots, then narrow it down to lots. If you're looking for properties in certain zip codes, then do that. You choose what types of properties you want to pursue. If you need some additional information about an area, I would use two main websites to get a rough idea of what the property looks like and what it's worth. They are Zillow and Google. Now, Zillow is really only useful with residential homes, and it's only a ballpark estimate of what an area is worth. If you aren't familiar with Zillow, you put in an address to a property, and it will tell you what they think the home is worth, and more importantly, what the homes around it are worth. I think most people know about that site, but if you didn't, now you do. Again, it isn't going to be 100% accurate, but if a homeowner calls you and says that they want to sell you their house for $200,000, and you see that the area is worth one hundred and fifty. dollars you can say, no, thank you. But if you see the area is worth 250 to 300, then you can continue to talk to them. Google is also a site that everyone knows, but it really is a great place to see what properties look like. Now, there are two things that you may not know about Google. At least I know my dad didn't know about it. If you go to Google and click on maps, you can put in an address and it will give you a map of the area, both in map view and satellite view. If you zoom in on the map view setting, they will show you property lines when they're available. Another useful tip is that there's a picture of a little yellow man somewhere on the screen, depending on what view you're in. If you click and drag that man onto the map, there will be streets that light up in blue. Those are the streets that they have a street view available. Now that little yellow man is typically in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Just drag and drop that man anywhere you want to see the property. It will then show you exactly what the property looks like as if you were standing in the middle of the street looking at the property. It will allow you 360 degree views up and down the entire street. This is actually more beneficial to me because you can fix up a house if it's in bad shape, but you can't fix up your whole street. I care more about the area than the property. Another cool feature that you may not know is that from satellite or map view in the classic version is that if you right click on any property, a menu box will appear and one of the options is what's here. If you click on that, it will tell you what address they have associated with that property. Now, obviously don't use Zillow and Google to make all of your decisions, but it was what we would use to decide quickly which properties to eliminate. If you pull it up and see that it's a five foot wide by 200 foot long strip of land at the end of an industrial complex where there is a storm drain, then eliminate it from your list. Or maybe it's an island in the middle of a public street. You don't need to send a letter to that property owner. Just do some quick checking to eliminate the junk properties. Next step, number five, mail to the owners. Once you've been monitoring the upcoming sales and getting lists from the counties, and you have gotten whatever information you are missing by whatever means necessary, and you have researched the properties, you need to mail a letter to the owners. Actually, you'd only do this if you want the best deals. If you only want to buy properties at the auctions, you wouldn't send letters. But we're trying to make as much money as possible, so we send letters to the owners before the auction. Our main letter that we send gets up to a 6% response rate. Therefore, if we send out 100 letters, we get six property owners calling us trying to work out a deal. Now, if you've ever done a mail merge or a direct mail campaign, you know that that's an amazing response rate. Another good thing about this step is that a fair percentage of these properties don't have accurate mailing addresses, so you will get letters returned as undeliverable. Yes, that means you wasted your postage and some of your time, but that tells you two very important things. One, they aren't getting anyone else's letters either. And two, they are better candidates for getting a great deal. Also, if you monitor the auction results, they are the best candidates for helping claim excess funds after the auction. Again, we weren't focusing on that strategy, but just know that it helps you focus on the best properties with the highest chance of success before and after the sale. Step number six, find missing owners. Once you've been monitoring the upcoming sales and getting lists from the counties, and you've gotten whatever information you are missing by whatever means necessary, and you have researched the properties to see which ones you can easily eliminate, and you have mailed letters to the property owners, you answer the phone calls that those letters generate, you then have to hunt down everyone else. 
Again, I guess you don't have to because you can work as much or as little as you want. But we would try to track down people as much as possible. We used a site called People Finders. And if you go to taxriches.com forward slash PF, as you see on the screen, it will take you to the right place. This site allows you to search for people by their name, address, phone number, email address, or social security number if you have that. For our purposes, we would always be looking up by address and then their name. One really cool feature that I know of that People Finders has is that when you search for someone, you see who their relatives are, who their neighbors are, and what their addresses and phone numbers are as well. I can tell you that we've gotten in touch with several people by finding their neighbors or relatives and asking them to forward a message for us. I forget how much it costs, but I think we paid a few hundred bucks for an annual membership for a certain amount of lookups or something like that. Anyway, if you go to this link, it'll show you whatever their their normal prices are. It's probably going to be around 30 bucks a month is my guess. Regardless of whether you end up buying our services, People Finders is one of those products that you'll need no matter what your business is, but especially in real estate or if you're working with the public at any level. And in our training modules, we have complete tutorials on how to use People Finders extensively. Or another company that is great is Intellius. And if you go to taxriches.com forward slash INT, as you see on the screen here, it will take you to the right spot. They do the same thing as People Finders, and they have similar pricing options, I'm sure. My dad actually uses them exclusively, and he says that they're better than People Finders. I've never used them, so I can't say that. But again, my dad swears by them. So if you go to this link, it will take you to whatever their current pricing options are. We've also used Facebook to find people and get in touch with people for free. Or another free option is whitepages.com. You can go there and put in the subject property or the property that's going to be auctioned off, as well as the mailing address to see if there's any phone numbers associated with those properties. There are tons of websites that allow you to search public records or to try to find people. Just Google it and you'll see how many options come up. Okay. So let's do a quick recap of all the steps. Step one is monitor the upcoming sales. Step two is to get lists of properties from the counties or websites. Step three is to get missing information that the county didn't give you with the auction list. Step four is researching properties. Eliminate the junk and focus on what you really want. Step five is mail to the owners. Step six is find missing owners and contact them by whatever means necessary. And I want to point something out to you. Look at this list and tell me if there is anything on there that you can't do from your own home. The answer is no. Mail works from anywhere. The phone works from anywhere. And when you have a seller who is ready to work with you, mobile notaries go anywhere and will overnight the paperwork back to you. It's pretty cool, actually. It is a lot of work. And if you do all this work, you won't regret it. Well, sort of. I'll tell you what I mean in a minute. So here's one more tidbit that you'll find out soon. Unfortunately, a lot of the information that you need to do this business right comes from the government. That by itself isn't horrible, except consider a few things. One, the government isn't known for their customer service excellence. Two, it's actually in the government's best interest not to be helpful. Remember earlier I mentioned that there's a conflict of interest? Why? Because guess what happens to all the money from the auctions if no one claims it? The government gets to keep it. Tell me that's not a total conflict of interest. It upset me the first time I heard that. If a county auctions off a property and there are any overages from the sale and no one claims it for a year, it goes to the state as unclaimed property. Pretty sweet deal, huh? But I'll get off my little soapbox and get back to the bigger problem for us. There are 58 counties to deal with in the state of California. And without a doubt, the list you get from the county will be incomplete. You'll have a parcel number and an opening bid amount, maybe an address, maybe an owner's name, but probably not, and maybe other types of information like the property tax rate, which is completely irrelevant. But each county is different. So not only do they have different levels of completeness of information, but also different in the types of formats as well. Meaning some counties will be a PDF, some a spreadsheet, some a printed list that you must pick up in person, or maybe a CD with text files on it, or on their website in a table with no formatting at all. Or my personal favorite I mentioned earlier is LA County with a 500 page book with 2000 to 3000 properties in it. 
Another county puts their properties onto a CD and you have to install a database viewer to query properties one at a time. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> As if you weren't feeling overwhelmed already, you have to monitor the actual properties that are coming up for auction. Individual properties and sometimes entire sales are postponed or canceled at the last minute. You have to be in communication with the government agencies to get the update to the auction lists, which are in different formats with different levels of completeness, to make sure that you are tracking properties that are actually still available. Did I mention that the government isn't the most customer service oriented? <laughs> Well, remember what I said earlier about sort of regretting this strategy? Here's what I mean. If you do all the steps I've outlined above, you will get some activity and you will have made some money. In fact, I'm willing to bet it's, it will be some of the most profitable deals you've ever done. You won't regret that part. But what you might regret is doing all the work yourself when there is a better way to do it. What if all these properties were just served to you on a silver platter? What if I told you that in the process of tracking these properties for my own purposes, I have automated everything. In my frantic panic of trying to run my own business, I made this machine that's amazing. Now what I have created is one single source for every single property in the entire state of California that is going to be auctioned off for its back taxes in one format, complete with owner's names, mailing addresses, property characteristics, previous sale information, along with automated research tools simplified down to a single click and much, much more. All you need is a username and password to get access to it all. No headaches dealing with 58 counties. No worrying about missing an auction. No hassles getting all the lists. No additional costs or supplemental property data to pay for. No websites to remember. No pulling out your hair trying to keep your spreadsheets straight. No wasting time while you are researching properties. No trying to work with dozens of different formats driving you literally insane. No staying up all night reading through a 500 page book. This is the only product in the entire world that I know of that does this. Can you imagine how much work we are doing for you every single day? Do you have any idea how great this opportunity is? I wish I could give you a glimpse of how much work it takes and how much money it costs for us to maintain all this data for you. And I charge peanuts to give you access to it. Seriously, I should charge more for it. I'm giving you the fruits of my labor and years worth of blood, sweat, and tears for a ridiculously low, low price, maybe even for free. You've got to do this if you're even halfway serious about doing real estate. You will thank me later. Tell you what, I want to show you a, a video of the database and the power that it gives you. So I have a quick video that I'm going to play right now. And it's only a few minutes long. And then as soon as the video is over, I'm going to come back on. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a look at what you get as a member at taxriches.com. Open up an internet browser and enter your username and password. Select what kind of information you're looking for, then go to step two. Select which county or counties you are interested in. Step three. This step is optional if you want to narrow down your search. If you want to see all of the properties, then you can skip this step. In this example, I want the back taxes to be no more than $25,000, but I also want the value of the property to be at least $125,000. Click on the search button and boom, it generates your properties below like magic. Let's further narrow down your search by eliminating lots and only looking at properties that have an improvement value of at least $50,000. Click on the search button and it gives you the updated results. Is that easy or what? Say you want to mail letters to the property owners. No problem. With our system, it's a breeze. Simply choose what information you want to export and you're ready to start a mail merge. Not sure how to do a mail merge? No problem. Inside our members area, we'll show you step by step how to do it. That's just one of many different training videos available to our members. Now let me show you some really cool things you can do with our system. You can flag properties for different reasons so that you can track them like clockwork. Maybe you want to see all of the properties that you have flagged to be on your call list. There they are. Open up the first one on the list and start making deals. Isn't that awesome?
Look at all of the information that is at your fingertips. Owner's name, situs address, and mailing address. Just getting these three together makes things so much easier. And here's the different flags I mentioned earlier so you can streamline everything. It really puts all of the power into your hands. Now here's a big one. Keep all of your notes in one location and be able to search those notes later. I can't tell you how much time and effort this one feature will save you. You can see here a note that was entered previously, but you have an update for it. Simply type in the new notes, keeping everything on track and up to date. Get rid of the yellow pad and sticky notes and never be unorganized again. You also get the tax assessor information, such as land value and improvement value for reference. At the click of a button, you will be able to go to the tax collector or tax assessor's website to verify information is needed. Everything is here. When available, you can also check assessor's maps. Can you see the power of this system? Next, we have property characteristics such as year built, square footage, and zoning information. Click here for other county departments like building and permits or code enforcement. You have all the information you need at your fingertips. Isn't that great? Next, we have the auction information here. You will see things like when it is scheduled for auction, what the opening bid is, and legal description. If it is an online auction, this link here will take you directly to the web page for that property. No hassle looking around for it. Simply go and bid on the property. Next, we have prior sale information. It gives you things like sale date, estimated sales price, and lender information if a loan is involved. In this section, there are statistics on the property as well as the area around it. Now let's look at the automated research tools that you get with our system. With the single click of a button, you can see what a property is worth and more importantly, what the area around it is worth. This is a huge time saver. Next, we can see the property from Google, both in aerial and street views. How helpful is it to see what the property looks like? And again, more importantly, what the area looks like. Here's another great one. Within seconds, we show you phone numbers associated with that property. Just find the person you are looking for and work out a deal. Well, I think you have gotten a taste of what's possible with TaxRiches.com. There is nothing else like it anywhere on the planet. Isn't that awesome? Well, if you aren't a computer techie, don't worry. Our training videos not only teach you how to be successful in this strategy, but we'll also show you how to use every square inch of the database if you're interested in doing deals in California. Can you imagine the life that's possible with this amazing opportunity? What would you do with a check for $100,000 or more? What would you do with the extra time? I know for me, it's spending it with my wife and my kids. One example I can tell you is that I've really enjoyed being able to pick up my son Preston every day from school. I pick him up around lunchtime and take him home for nap time and put him down for his nap. And it's just really a priceless time that you can't get back. It's been wonderful. I don't have any friends who are able to do that with their kids. They all have corporate jobs where they get home after six o'clock every night. What a crappy way to live. And they're great dads, don't get me wrong, and they want to do more, but they really are limited by their jobs. Anyway, I am so fortunate to have a flexible schedule and a flexible budget to do the things that we want to do when we want to do them. So I spend it with my wife and kids. What will you do with the extra time and money? Figure it out now because that time is coming. So what do you actually get when you buy my product right now? You get two things. The first part is the training materials and resources. That's where we teach you everything we know about the tax defaulted strategy from A to Z. Now our training videos, tutorials, the contracts we use, checklists, everything you'll need to be successful is in there. Really, we have held nothing back. We take you step by step. Here are the topics that our training covers. What are property taxes? Why do we like tax sales? Why California is the best place, but also how to make money in other states. How are taxes determined? Who determines the value of a property? A timeline chart of the auction process. 
the five ways to make money with this strategy. I've explained one of the ways and I've kind of mentioned a second way, but there's five ways to make money in this strategy. Communication strategies, whether by phone, email, or letter. How to do a mail merge for maximum results. How to get the deal when no one else can. Psychology of negotiating. This definitely increases your likelihood of getting deals. Why don't more people do this? What is title insurance? When you definitely need it and when it doesn't matter. What's your exit strategy and how that affects the way you purchase the property? All about auctions. What really happens? Difference of a mortgage foreclosure versus a tax auction. How to sell a property even before you buy it. A day in the life. What's a realistic schedule? How to decide what to focus on. That's very important. How to minimize risk. That's even more important. How to quickly eliminate junk so that you can focus on where you're more likely to get a deal. How to use our system for maximum efficiency and success. Motivation. Taking action. This is big. Build confidence in yourself. That's even bigger. Many case studies so you can see some of the deals we've done. Contracts we use, saving you loads of money and time. Chart of resources by county, saving you tons of time. Tips, advice, lessons learned. Our experience is invaluable. Pitfalls to avoid. Use our help to speed up your learning curve. Tutorial videos for all of our resources and processes and tasks involved. Tutorials of other helpful websites as well. And Q&As that we receive from clients by email, phone, or in person. Now, along with the training, we answer your questions along the way. Now, I'm not saying we, meaning a virtual assistant or a coach you've never heard of before. I or my dad will personally answer all of your questions. So that was all the first part. Here's the second part. The second part is access to our centralized database, giving you a single source for every property in the state of California, which is the best place to do this, that is going to be auctioned off for its back taxes. You get all the information available, including owners' names so that you know who to negotiate with, their mailing addresses so you know where to find them, assessed information to help determine values, property characteristics so you know what you're dealing with, prior sale information to see what it sold for previously, automated research tools integrated down to a single click of your mouse, saving you tons of time, exportable spreadsheets at the push of a button so you can create deals quickly and easily, the capability of running advanced queries, making it possible for you to laser target the properties that you're truly interested in and not waste time with the properties that you don't want. The ability to write your own notes about each property as well as be able to search those notes later and flag properties for different purposes, keeping everything in one place and organized. Think of it this way. You have a full office staff and personal assistants doing all the tedious, behind the scenes, monotonous grunt work so that you can focus on what you do best. Deals, profitable deals, making money, getting rich, going out on your boat with the family, playing golf, laying in a hammock, whatever. Now, you can do it alone, but your office is going to look something like this, I promise you. <laughs> but you don't have to do it alone. Let us teach you everything we know. Let us show you step by step the strategy that has allowed us to turn $100 into over $100,000 in less than 30 days, multiple times. Now, we could charge a lot of money for this information, but we aren't. If you were to go and accumulate all of this information on your own, it would cost well into the tens of thousands of dollars. Not to mention you'd have to hire a full-time employee just to help with the workload. But hey, it would be worth it, right? I mean, if you had a business that generated $150,000 a year of income, but cost you $50,000 a year in expenses, that would be good, right? You'd make a yearly profit of $100,000. I know a lot of successful people with business degrees and 20 years of experience who don't have $100,000 a year of income right now. Well, I'm not going to charge $50,000 to give you everything. I'm not even going to charge $5,000 to give you everything. All you have to do to get all of this information is invest a one-time fee 
of $997 to get unlimited access to all of the training materials. And then pay $97 a month for unlimited access to the database as well. Cancel anytime. All you have to do to get started right now is go to taxriches.com forward slash J and put in your payment information to get immediate access to it all. So to get started right now, go to taxriches.com forward slash J and join the club. Now, if for any reason you are not 100% completely satisfied with your investment, I have a 30-day unconditional 100% money back guarantee. If you sign up today and then tomorrow morning you wake up and wish you hadn't signed up, let me know and I will give you a complete refund. And because I know that if you do this business, you won't regret it, I'm willing to prove it by offering a 100% money back guarantee. There really is no reason not to buy my service. Unfortunately, that does mean that some unethical people will sign up, go through the training, then go into the database and access the leads that they want, and then ask for a refund. But I don't want to penalize the honest people out there who are looking for a great way to make money. I would rather get this out to the people who are ready for it, the people who've been looking for something, something to take them to the next level. Those are the people that I want to work with. And even though unethical people will always exist, I'm going to absorb that risk. So by signing up today, you get unlimited access to our complete step-by-step training course, where we will teach you the entire tax defaulted strategy going over in detail the 33 topics mentioned earlier. You get copies of our contracts, forms, checklists, and other resources, which we are updating all the time to assure your success at no extra charge. You also get unlimited access to our unrivaled database, eliminating 95% of the work, enabling you to focus on what you do best, saving you countless hours and tens of thousands of dollars. During the process, you will also get all of your questions answered by me or my dad, leaving no one behind. Just go to taxriches.com forward slash J right now. This is really an amazing opportunity considering you can't get this service anywhere else in the world, and even if you could, it wouldn't be for such a low price. So put in your payment information and congratulate yourself on taking a step in the right direction. You're getting access to the only product in the entire world that does what we do. We'll be working with you hand in hand together to make sure that you're successful in this new business. There's nothing stopping you. We do the work, you reap the rewards. If you get stuck, we answer your questions along the way. And when you email us, make sure you include your phone number so if we need to call you, we can. Seriously, my dad actually enjoys helping people do deals. All right, well, we are wrapping things up here. And don't worry, for the people who don't want to buy my service, but you still want a copy of one of my contracts, I haven't forgotten about my promise to you. I will get to it very soon. But first, earlier in this presentation, I mentioned getting our entire product for free. Well, there are actually three possible ways to do that. The first option is because this is a brand new product, we need some testimonials and case studies from our successful clients. So buy our system today, and when you do your first profitable deal and give us proof and a video testimonial, we will give you your money back. You heard me right, we will give you your money back. Now obviously, I have to limit that somehow, so I will say for the first 20 people who do a profitable deal with our system and provide us proof and give us a video testimonial will get a complete refund of every penny they've paid up until that point. Does that sound fair or what? Now, just to make sure I am clear, this offer is not for the first 20 people who buy the product. It is for the first 20 people who do a profitable deal with our system. Okay. The second way to get our entire course for free is by doing this. When you go to the checkout page, choose PayPal as your payment option. When you go to the PayPal page, they have an option called Bill Me Later, which allows you to have no interest and no payments for six months. Sometimes their offer changes, so you'll have to see what their current offer is, but usually it's no interest, no payments on purchases above a certain dollar amount and is good for six months, something like that. So you can use that service to get it for free for six months and then pay them back out of your first deal or your next paycheck or whatever. The last way to get our entire course for free is by asking. Here's what to do. Send an email to 
workwithme at taxriches.com. Tell us why we should work with you. Now, don't tell us why you don't have any money or why you don't want to pay for it. Tell us why we should work with you. And to be completely honest with you, it is very long odds that we'll pick you. We rarely pick someone, but we certainly can't pick you if you don't try. So send us an email at workwithme at taxriches.com and we'll see what happens. All right, so that is the whole kit and caboodle. I want to thank all of you for investing the time to hear what we're doing and staying until the very end. For those of you who have not joined our services, but you still want the free thank you gift worth $1,500 that I mentioned at the beginning, listen up. The contract I'm giving you for free is a fairly common situation that you will find yourself in if you're in real estate at any serious level. It just so happens that it happens in the tax defaulted strategy more often than others. Here's what it is. Someone wants to sell you their house, but they don't own it. (laughs) You'd be surprised how often that comes up. Typically what happens is grandma died in 1987. She left her granddaughter, her house, and her will, but a probate was never done. Or maybe there was no will at all. Therefore, the property is still in the grandma's name, and the granddaughter is not legally allowed to sell it to you since she doesn't own it. This contract is what you need. Since she doesn't own the house, you can't buy the house, but she does have an expected inheritance that you can purchase. Now, technically, you are buying the granddaughter's expected inheritance in the estate of the deceased grandmother in this case. It's a pretty common situation, especially in tax-defaulted properties. But again, it happens in all aspects of real estate as well. Before I send it to you, my attorney wanted to make sure you all understand something first. We are not attorneys, and we are not giving you legal advice. You must take any contract to an attorney to customize it to your specific needs. Now, my attorney's contact information will be included with the contract if you want to use them to tailor it for your deal, and I suggest that that's exactly what you do. Practically speaking, I usually do my own contracts after getting the first one done, but again, that's not what I'm telling you to do. Having said that, to get a copy of our contract that's worth $1,500, send an email to freegift at taxriches.com and in the subject line put expected inheritance and we will get it to you as soon as we can. Again, send an email to freegift at taxriches.com and put expected inheritance in the subject line and we'll get you a copy as soon as we can get to you. All right. Well, everybody, for those of you who have already signed up, which should be all of you, (laughs) I am excited to start working with you all. I've been working on this product, the training materials and the database uh, for years, literally for years. And so I'm excited to actually have people using it and making money with it and helping property owners with it. So uh, I really am excited for you who have signed up. For those of you who didn't sign up, I appreciate you spending some time with me and I wish you the best of luck in all of your real estate endeavors. We will be here in the future if you ever decide to look into the tax defaulted niche. It really is an amazing opportunity. I'm not just blowing smoke up your skirt. So thank you, everybody. I appreciate your time. I'm going to go ahead and sign off with a quote that my mom and my dad put on their business cards. Be kinder than necessary for everyone you meet is fighting some kind of battle. It's so easy to go through life thinking that we're all playing by the same rules when in actuality, you don't know which woman is being abused by her husband. You don't know which man just got fired. You don't know which customer you deal with today just found out that they have terminal cancer or their mom just died. Be kinder than necessary for everyone you meet is fighting some kind of battle. Thanks again, everybody. I appreciate your time and I hope to talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.